Hi, welcome to The Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff The Gainsplainer and today I'm gainsplaining Betrayal at House on the Hill. So, it's been a year since I did my videos for Betrayal at House on the Hill. What's happened in that year? Well, they brought out another version. This is Betrayal at Baldur's Gate from memory. Uh, it's the same game but in the D&D high fantasy universe. It sounds cool. I don't know. I don't have it. I haven't played it. Just want a heads up that that exists. Also, since doing the videos, I have picked up the Widow's Walk uh, uh, expansion um, and that's been involved in the game. It's been included in the game. I've only played it once or twice. I don't think that I picked up the, 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 the haunts from the expansion when we played, um, which is okay. That's cool. I don't, I don't mind that. What I've found with this game is that it's... Some people really love this game if they're into story and putting a soundtrack on and the music changing when they put down a room and things like that. That's cool if they enjoy that type of play. Uh, and look, I've enjoyed, we um, played with, I played with a group like that and we, we had a couple of games back to back and I, I quite enjoyed myself. I enjoyed my time at the table playing that. I find that it's a super slow burn at the beginning of the game and that kind of just gets a little bit trudgy because you, you're going through this game and you don't really have any idea of why other than just discover tiles. Walk your way through the through the space, open up the space, see what you can discover, see what you can find. Some bad stuff's going to happen, some good stuff might happen, but see what you can find. I don't know if I like that as a, as a mechanism in a game. I want to have an idea of why I'm doing stuff. And this game starts with no idea of what you're doing. Uh, one of my friends watched the... Um, Gaspination and said to me, I didn't actually say what the purpose of the game was until just a throwaway line of, and then you get to escape from the house. And I don't even know if that's actually what you're trying to do in this game because what you're trying to do changes every time you play it. The start of the game, you actually have no idea what you're trying to do. Why am I in this house? Why am I a little girl walking around the house with this with this old scientist guy? Um, I I don't know. You're just there and moving through it, I guess. But then when you hit the haunt, it's still got that same problem of it slows everything down. Um, fortunately, every game I've had, the person who's got the haunt has been someone who's understood the game already. Uh, they may not have the entire mechanism behind them of how to do combat and things like that, and that's easy to explain. But they've got enough about them to understand what they're reading in that haunt book when they get to them. I've also been fortunate that the haunts that we've hit have not been the terrible ones. I understand there are some really ordinary haunts in there. But, having said that, some of the haunts, it, it felt impossible to beat uh, from the side that we were on. That might just be the way we're playing, it might just be, I'm not going to call it a broken game, it's not a broken game, it's just some of them are easier to win on one side or the other, and that's just the realities of this game. So, look, it, it can be a fun game, um, there's some enjoyment still to be found in it, I guess. Uh, I'd be interested to play the new D&D version, uh, Baldur's Gates. Oh, one other thing that I do need to say. I think last time I was complaining about these sliding off and not, not staying still real easy, the markers, all you need to do is put a bit of paper behind them. Paper behind them, they're not going anywhere. That's a quick, easy fix. Um, you should never have to do that with a game. It should be fixed already. When the publishers release this, they should have made sure that tokens stay because it's really important they stay in the right spots they don't slide around while you're playing uh, look it sounds like I've got a lot of gripes with this game it's not my favorite game um, I don't play it much because of that it's still on my shelf I do have friends who love the game so I'm willing to play with them because I like playing games with my friends um, I like the fact that this goes to six players but it's not going to be the first one I pull out and it's definitely not going to be if someone says hey Jeff what do you want to play I'm probably never going to say this particular game it's not real high on my list of favorite games but you know what other people really love this so if you've got any comments or suggestions so maybe you really love this game and you want to defend it please write below if you have any games that you wish to be games playing please shoot me an email at the at gmail.com follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the games planner to see what games I'm playing subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm games planning and until next time enjoy gaming